<laughs> the hat is on the table. The hat represents the infinite ideas, infinite possibilities. That's why I love to wear it sometimes. But for me, in the Totec tradition, we always have a hat, especially when we go to Teotihuacan. Ever since a child, I created a mythology in my own dream, because that's what we're doing all the time anyways, aren't we? Just creating mythologies for our own self to, you know, to digest the ideas, to get inspired. Well, like the magician. The magician gets a rabbit out of the hat. And then when I was little, I said, you know, I can imagine anything that can come out of the hat because anything can come out of my mind, any idea to dream, especially when I put things on the table. When you put things out of your mind into the table, you begin to see, and everything is created by what? By energy. Energy creates everything. Energy just flows. The other day, me and my brother Aaron were talking about how energy just always finds a container. It always contains itself into something. So the other day, you know, I lost a little balance. You know, I said something that I didn't want to mean to my loved ones. And I said, oh my God, I've been suppressing an energy, focusing on, on the energy because I didn't put it on the table. And you know, and when that energy came out negativity, uh, it felt, you know, ouch, like that's not what I want to give. That's not the fruit that I want to give. But if I didn't put it on the table and I'm not honest about it, how can I ever see? And that's when one begins to pretend. Pretend what? But we're not. What's perfect anyways? They say, you're perfect, everyone's perfect, and then they set you up for failure. What's perfect? They say that this is perfect and this is not perfect. That you are perfect, but this is not the way that you should be acting. But guess what? There is no right or wrong. Because everything is perfect in this world. Because everything is created by the divine, by life itself. The important thing it is, how are you going to ride the horse? <laughs> what I mean by that, is uh, with, this res with respect by the horses. I'm using this as a mythology, as a metaphor of the energy needs to be right. That's why it's important for us to be aware of what energy we're creating, what energy is coming out of us when we put story to things. Because when we put story with energy, you know, it can be negative energy, good energy, but it's just gonna come out of us. So when it's something stopping us in life, when we feel like a suffering, when we feel guilt and shame, it's because we're not letting that energy go. We're keeping it. We're attaching to that energy. And this is what the addiction of suffering it is for me. Could you imagine getting the addiction of suffering out of your hat? All the guilt and shame out of the hat? And without awareness, this is what we're creating. That's why it's beautiful to put things in the table. And that's the medicine bag. When we open the medicine bag, we place it on the table. That's why we call it La Mesa, the translation in Spanish, of course. But what we put inside of there is a reflection of what is in our thoughts. So I have to say honestly, you know, when there's love, there's negativity. The important things of a master, of mastering love, mastering itself, is how to control your energy, what comes out of you. That's why I like to sing the song, just love what you do and you're saying what comes out of you, instead of hate what you do what you're saying what comes out of you. Hear what I mean? If we just focus on negativity, you know, that's the thing that we do. We're going to be a wounded snake biting everybody that we love and including ourselves. And people bite everyone they love because they know that they can be bullied. And this is the thing that is very sad when you wake up and notice that you're the bully in the name of love. Some people will cover their heads and not even show it, you know, pretend to them so that they didn't do it. But, you know... I am the important things. We have three cameras, so I'm doing my best. Um, um, this is the important thing of we have in life. We have the thing to create the energy that comes from us. So when we begin feeling what kind of dream we're living, everything begins to make sense. Because if we don't like the dream that we're living, we can just let it go. Without any story, without any judgment, just let it go. You know, one of the things that helped me a lot is the interview with Larry King and Paul McCartney. When Paul McCartney was getting out of his divorce, of, of the, I believe his second marriage, or I don't know, but um, when I was younger, I saw this interview, and Larry King asked him, how do you deal with your marriage? How, how do you cope with your divorce? And he said, I just don't talk about it. It's gone. I don't talk about it. And when I see that, I said, oh my God, 
I can just imagine talking about it, of my first divorce, you know, making everything complain, and in my new partners, I do the same thing, complaining, 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 but you know, the important thing it is to be realistic, to be responsible and honest of your own art, of the energy you control. If you don't like the way that you used to control the energy before, okay, you know, be aware of it and don't do it again. And that is what I call forgiveness. Forgiveness is when we forgive ourselves for not putting more guilt and shame, you know, creating everything to the people that we will meet again. No, it's stopping at saying, okay, I will respect the hat. I will respect the infinite and I will no longer feel guilt and shame about it. But you know, everything is perfect. Even the mistakes that we have done, that are doing and that will do. Why? Because sometimes we run in automatic, we're busy in life, you know, life gets us because that's the dream of the planet. The dream of the planet energy, it is to make you blind, to make you not realize, to make you react so you don't think. And when you're not thinking, you do things that you don't want to do that make you have guilt and shame and there you become a slave, a slave to ask for forgiveness. But who are we asking for forgiveness to the outside? You know, if we hurt people in the outside, we cannot change their pain. You know, they can accept us if they want to or not. But to forgive ourselves is to not repeat this again. And that's when we begin honoring the infinite, the infinite of life, because we're the space between everything that exists. The divine mother, the woman, are the portal of the infinite. Without her, we cannot be born anything in life. So let's be grateful to the Divine Mother and to the Infinite because we are the angels that are at service to life. And we cannot be a service to life outside until we're service to life within. This is what means for me the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail is not a cup outside of me because a cup, as you can see, is a container. So I know that I'm a container. I'm a container of energy. My energy the life force that I am. And when I create this energy, it keeps put into the cup that I am and it will begin to overflow. So I have to be very aware and very wise what energy I'm putting out there. And insanity is something that is just insane. <laughs> Why? Because we repeat things, you know, knowing that it's gonna hurt us we repeat it again, thinking it's going to change. We begin hurting others. This is the moment that we realize that dream didn't work. So if that dream, dream didn't work, let's not pull it out of that hat anymore. Let's not bring it from the infinite. Let's begin feeling the love of our life because the love of our life is just life. Could you imagine being aware that you are that energy that just walks in this contained body and everywhere you go, you just have to control your emotional poison because it's the emotional poison that hurts us when we hurt others. The power of forgiveness is just a walking. It's just an act of love. Why? Because if we didn't know, how can we you know, judge ourselves for things that we didn't know? Because people like to judge themselves for things that they don't know because they're always looking where to place that energy to contain it and they look for people, and when they're done with them people, and the people stop being bullied, and they walk away, they say, how dare they, and they look for the next container. So if you're someone who bullies people and looking for a container, container, it's time to wake up because the only one is hurting is you. And if someone's throwing energy at you, you don't have to debate them, you don't have to fight them, you just have to be you. That's why I love about the teaching of Jesus Christ. The story goes, your kingdom is not of your kingdom when he's crucified. He says, save yourself. My kingdom is not of your kingdom. The kingdom is my own reality, not the secondary character that's in your mind. Hear what I mean? We live in other people's mind as secondary characters, but that is not the real us. We don't need to be perfect to be the character for anybody else. We're just ourselves. This is why I love the dream of Shiva Shakti. Why? Of the two spirit, why? Because it's two genders in union to create life. And all of that has inside of us. All that energy exists inside of us because we are that energy. We're just life, you know? Humanity separates us with words just to identify what's everything, but that is not the truth. The truth is what's in your heart. How kind can you be to life? How kind can you be to yourself? And you know, life is life, it's feeding itself. That's why it's about survival. But who really surviving? 
we're surviving the jungle of our mind. We just begin to dance, and when everything is on the table, we begin that it's all about honesty, respect, and gratitude. Because that is the agreement of love that we're making with ourselves. Sometimes we think we're gonna go right, we go left, it's okay. Sometimes, you know, we want to manifest something and when we're there, you really don't feel it in the heart that it will not be done. But when it is in done, sometimes, you know, people call it that we have writer's block. There's no writer's block. It's that there's no channel being open. And you cannot force a channel to be open. Could you imagine? If your body's not ready to give birth to a baby, you're just gonna force yourself to have a baby? No, it doesn't work that way. Because then we become obsessed to have a baby. You know what I mean? And it's not a, it's just a metaphor what I'm talking about. Everything comes naturally, you know? And I'm so inspired right now because I'm in the cave. I'm working on the new book that is related to the power animals. And you know, what I love about this is that we all are it. We all are life. Everything that comes through us is just an open channel. So when you get out of the way with the guilt, shame, and suffering, when you don't take that off your head anymore, out of your mind anymore, you begin living a different dream and all dreams come to an end. Even our life will come to an end. But before that day happens, let's make history in our own personal dream so we can romance our soul, romance our entire being, fill that container, that cup full of water and just let it out wherever we go because it's all about respect, loyalty, and Justice. Justice to who? To ourselves, because we will not be bullied anymore by ourselves because we are the love of our life. And people are gonna treat us how we treat ourselves. So is the day today. It's a day of transformation. I said I wasn't going to be in Instagram, but I didn't know how to manage technology. <laughs> And here I am because I just have to get this energy out of me. And I'm grateful also to the followers in YouTube now, instead of Facebook. We have a YouTube channel too, where you can see us when this is one of the other cameras that I was talking about. And this is very beautiful. I have to say thank you to all the people that created this beautiful technology that we can just push a button and communicate from one way to the other. But now I just want you to imagine one thing. This is something that we can see in push the buttons. But now I'm gonna talk about the power of prayer. When you have the power of prayer and good intentions for life, no one needs to hear you. It's something that's inside of you. This energy like a waterfall that's just gonna come out of you and express itself through words. And listen to inspiration through eyes and hearing because this is what we make inside. Art, art from the heart is really the most beautiful thing that we can ever have in life. Oh, the YouTube channel is under my father, Don Miguel Reese. And you can find it, just click it and you will find his channel. And I so thank you for everybody. You know what? I'm so grateful to life because right now, as no no you don't know, some people know, but I left my home in San Diego. My beautiful garden now belongs to somebody else. It never belonged to me. It belonged to the hummingbirds. Now those hummingbirds are just flying away and said to me, hey, Jose, just say, it's time for you to be like the hummingbird. Get all the inspiration that you got from here. We're never separated. It's all inside of you. Now it's time to fly. Fly where? Wherever the wind takes you. And the wind is inspiration. Follow the nectar and the nectar will be the marking points where you will go traveling. So right now, I am back in Reno, close to my family. Later, I will see them, and then I will continue my journey. And it's so beautiful. Life is so beautiful. And remember, if you don't judge yourself, nobody else can judge you, and the judgment no longer will exist in your mind, because judgment is just a fake illusion, a fake dream, where energy is being placed and evaporates because that's not the way to give energy to in life. When we wake up from this, it's like we realize that we were in a mirror all the time. If I judge my brothers, if I judge my sisters, it's only judging myself because I was in pain. 
and I didn't know what I was in pain for. That's why I repeat this the table. It's the table of honesty. I invite you to be in your home where you have a table and the table where you eat, where you share meals, where you feed your, the love of your life. Also make it the table of honesty. Be responsible of your acts where you place that energy. Be responsible of your art. And remember, there's no one to blame. Everybody's living their own dream. It's just that we're using them as colors to paint in our canvas. And I will not do this anymore because it doesn't feel good to me. You know, the dream of Judas betrayed Jesus. But you know, it only betrayed itself because Jesus forgiven because it's not his dream. Guilt and shame made him hang from a rope because he couldn't bear the pain instead of just letting it go and learn the lesson. Like my big brother says, Junior, Don Miguel Riz Jr. says, sometimes we make permanent solutions for temporary problems. And I always have him in my heart. I also love my lion, my little brother Leo. He always takes care of me. And you know, I will always be grateful to that. And no matter what history has put in my head, it's no longer real because we all have, have grown and I know that we don't have to wait to be in conflict in life to love each other. We don't need to wait in the hospital. And what I'm talking about right now, I'm not talking about my siblings, I'm talking about all my siblings. Imagine people that you have fighting with, you know, over some little problem that is not matters. Illusion, it's time for forgiveness because one day they will not be here and why beat yourself up when they're not here? You know, or why you hold someone personal because something they say, they didn't know what they were saying. People are wounded. You know, before I go, I, something that my father teach me is he said to me, Jose, sometimes people, they don't know what they say. They're so wounded in pain that just comes out of them. Don't take them personally because when you see someone like that, they're only asking for help. And when I see myself in the table, just putting everything that's in my mind on the table, realizing it, you know, I just know that I was wounded. I didn't mean what I said. I was asking for help. And the one who can help me is myself to not repeat those things again. That's why I talk about insanity. Insanity is just a dream that didn't work, that we're obsessed to continue and no longer want to be obsessed by dreams that didn't work. Today, you are my witness. I let them go. I'm the hummingbird now and I will fly with you because you're also the hummingbirds. And the hummingbirds in the Aztec tradition, they're the messengers of the God, the ones who go through the smoke, through the illusion of life and get what's precious for them, the delicious nectar, so they can inspire themselves, live their life, and how we live our life is how we will share the nectar. The dream of the hummingbirds. I put my hat back on because I'm ready to dream. Chiva Shakti, to spirit, Om Sairam, Om Eteo, with all my love, thank you for listening to me and giving up your time because time is the most precious thing in this planet. Time is the most precious thing in life because it makes us aware that we are alive and it's not about age. While the candles still burn, we will do our best and create a masterpiece of art. Thank you.